everybody. Uh, welcome to another edition of your Museum at Home. Um, I'm Wendy and I work for the Lakeshore Museum Center and I promised you guys a little follow-up video to my historical fiction picture book video where I talked about this little book called Knit Your Bit. Um, this is a book about civilians knitting for World War I soldiers in Europe and we were looking for, I challenged myself to look for evidence of that type of activity going on here in Muskegon County and I was able to find it. Um, for this research I used Genealogy Bank. It is an online resource that the museum has access to. It's a subscription base. Um, based program and it searches newspapers. It doesn't do some of the more recent newspapers due to some copyright issues, but for sure we can get um, that World War One era, 1917-1918. Um, and I also enlisted the help of Aaron Mace from uh, the Hackley and Hume Historic Sites because we know that Mrs. Hume um, liked to knit. We have photographs of her knitting. Uh, we have letters and diary journals um, entries of her talking about knitting um, and he found a really great article from the Chronicle um, about the Humes. Uh, it's from May 18 of 1917 and the headline is Women's Service League Changes Headquarters. It's talking about how the Women's Service League moved from the Hackley Chase Piano Company um, store area to the first congressional church and further down in the article it says that there would be knitting lessons going on led by Mrs. Thomas Hume and then further down there's also a reference to Miss Helen Hume her daughter um, saying that she was in possession of the textbooks for first aid classes so really neat um, little article that not only connects to Muskegon County, but specifically to the Hume home. The, Hume. the next article we're gonna look at is from Monday, January 7, 1918, and it just reads Red Cross News. Again, the column has uh, notes on patterns and things, and my favorite part is at the very end, it lists the community organizations that were donating knit goods, and um, my favorite in this list is the McLaughlin School. It lists that they donated two helmets. Um, so take a look at that detail. There's some fun information in there. And finally, the last article I want to show you guys is Friday, May 24, 1918. Again, it's from the Muskegon Chronicle. And the headline reads, Folks at home are with us say boys whenever they get hand-knit socks. It kind of talks about the fact that even though uh, the women weren't working as quickly or doing as much as the knitting machines, that the soldiers really appreciated getting these hand-knit items and that it was a big morale booster. Um, there's some anecdotal evidence in here that the hand-knit socks also lasted longer than the machine-knit socks. Um, so yeah, so kind of interesting to see that um, and to just know that this, that mattered to the soldiers when they were getting those those homemade items. Um, so yeah, so these are some of the snippets of fact from Muskegon County um, that we were able to find just doing some basic online searches um, that were kind of inspired by the Knit Your Bit picture book. So um, get your kids to go out and read historical fiction, enjoy historical fiction yourself, and when you have those questions about whether something is um, factual or fictional, go ahead and do a little online research um, and see if you can find out. Um, historical fiction is a gateway to a lot of some really interesting fun facts that you can find. So I hope you enjoyed this video and that you are staying healthy and safe in your homes and join us back at the museum's Facebook page for more videos like this one. Have a great day.